Before this video starts, I just want to give a massive shout out to all my channel members. If you want to receive a shout out, then become a channel member today and you'll be shown on screen like all these other channel members here. Anyways, enjoy the video. On May 29th, version 12.4 dropped in the Japanese version and this is quite an exciting update and I want to talk about everything that was added in this version. Since we have loads to cover, all I ask is if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and sub to the channel if you haven't already and comment down below what was the most exciting thing about this update was for you. Anyways, we have loads to cover. First to talk about is the new units, but for each of the new units, I will be using their level 30 stats. Our first new unit is a new unit from the Tales of Nekoluga, being Kaoluga. At level 30, they have 20,400 health and deal 51,000 damage with 3.7k DPS. They have a standing range of 710 and like most Lugas, have a really long cooldown. For Kaoluga, it is 5 minutes and 24 seconds long. They have a 20% chance to knock back all enemies with a 100% chance to spawn a level 6 mini surge between 100 to 1500 range. They have a speed of 4 and have a TBA of 12 seconds. They cost 4500 cents to deploy. This unit could be an okay backline or damager, but their knockback chance is too unreliable to be useful. Their mini surge spawn area is also too wide to land consistent damage. If it does land, you're dealing an additional 120% damage as the mini surge is level 6 but it isn't too reliable bonus damage. The second unit is a new uber for the June Bride event, being Bridal Passalan. This unit is a variant of Balaluga. Like their unwed version, they have 20,400 health, but they have a higher attack rate and multi-range hit in exchange for a shorter freeze time. Their multi-hit works like this. Their first hit lands between 540 to negative 310 range, the second hit lands between 590 to 635 range, and lastly is 640 to negative 960 range. This unit lands their second and third hit almost immediately after the first one. Each multi-hit deals 10,795 damage, meaning enemies hit by all three multi-hits take 32,385 damage. If an enemy is hit by two of the multi-hits, they take 21,590, and you should know how much an enemy takes if they're hit by one attack. On their last hit, they freeze everything for 1.67 seconds. They have a recharge of 5 minutes, 24 seconds, and have a standing range of 640 with a TBA of 6.67 seconds and move at a speed of 4 and cost 4500 cents to deploy. Next is a new egg unit called Clown Cat. If you remember the Holy Water Gotcha, where you can get Exorcist Cat, this is how you get this unit. At level 30, they have 10,370 health, deal 2,192 damage with 685 DPS. They have a speed of 10 and a TBA of 2.73 seconds. They cost 570 cents to deploy with a cooldown of 9.2 seconds and have a standing range of 300 with 3 knockbacks. They have Z-Killer, Soul Strike, a 30% chance to slow zombies for 3 seconds, and Behemoth Slayer. This unit is very awkward to use due to their rather low stats along with a low slow chance and them having Soul Strike hurts way more than it helps. The thing about Soul Strike is that it only really works on units with high offensive stats such as the Subterra Sentinels who can help deal with zombies that are in their corpse state much more easily. Behemoth Slayer does not work at all as their base stats are way too low to do anything as they only have 17,283 health and only deal 5,480 damage with 1.7k DPS. It costs 10 red and 10 purple Behemoth Stones to hatch. Now for our next units, we have the return of the Evangelion collab and the first new unit is Ava Unit 13. At level 30, they have 81,000 health and deal 24,480 damage that is split across 3 multi-hits. The time between these multi-hits is like Bridal Passaland in which the second and third hits happen immediately afterwards. They also have a 50% chance to spawn a mini search between 400 to 700 range. They have a standing range of 460, have a cooldown of 2 minutes 44 seconds and have 3 knockbacks. They lack any TBA and have a speed of 8. They are also strong against Aku enemies, giving them an effect of 163,200 health and deal an effect of 36,720 damage, not including the mini surge against Akus. They are also surge immune, and like every other Ava unit, they have the Angel Killer ability, which boosts their damage against these collab enemies to 122,400 damage and have an effect of 408,000 health against the Ava Angels. Lastly, and the most hyped unit for the update is One-Eyed Asuka, who if you notice is a variant of Kazli the Bane. However, these two units work rather differently. Whereas Kazli has Wave and Surge immune along with the level 3 Surge that's between 400 to 700 range, Asuka's immunities are changed to be Slow, Freeze, and Toxic immune and their Surge spawns between 400 to 800 range, making it a little bit less reliable. 
Their curse duration is also different, as Kazli is a base of 4.5 seconds lawn, whereas Asuka's is only 2.5 seconds lawn. She also has a base health of 61,200 health, which is only 78% of Kazli's 78,200 health, and Asuka deals 12,750 damage, giving her 75% of the damage Kazli can do, being 17,000. In terms of surge damage, this means Asuka is dealing 51,000 damage, whereas Kazli is dealing 68,000 damage. Asuka also has one less knockback and has 2,236 DPS, 8,944 when including the surge. However, interestingly, they gave her Colossus Slayer. This means that her effective health against Colossus enemies goes to 87,428 and her damage now goes to 20,400, which makes it higher than Kazli's. If a Surge connects, she will be dealing 81,600 damage with a DPS of 3,578, 14,312 DPS when including the Surge. While her curse uptime isn't 100%, she can be used to help control some enemies such as Big Pang Z and Baron Seal. However, her lack of wave and surge immunity does make it harder to use her as a generalist unit. In the end, the best way to use this unit is in situations where shutting down a status is a more difficult thing to do for a regular Dazzly, especially against enemies like Crokley and Henry. In this update, there are six new true forms three of which are Evangelion true forms. The first true form is Reunion Ray. Upon true forming, she gains a 10% boost to her health, going from 24,650 health to 27,200 health. She also gains Strawn vs. Angel, along with a 20% chance to dodge. This means that at level 30, she has an effective 68,000 health against angels and deals 30,294 damage against them with 5.3k DPS. Because she has a rather high chance to weaken angels that last for 6.67 seconds, she can effectively boost her health to 136,000 health. Her 20% dodge chance, while not being the best thing in the world, can come in handy as a last resort tool when taking hits from angel enemies. This true form will cost you 3 yellow cat fruit. Next is Ava Unit 01, who gains a 30% chance to spawn a mini surge between 400 and 700 range, a 100% chance to survive a lethal strike, and a change to the strengthened boost, going from 100% to 150%. This now means when strengthened, they'll deal 39,100 damage. This translates to 70,380 damage against aliens and zombies. This true form will cost you 1 Epic Seed and 1 Aku Cat Fruit. Last for the Evangelion true forms is the AAA Wonder, who gains a 20% boost to their health, going from 68,000 health to 81,000 health. They also gained a reduced TBA, dropping from 3.33 seconds to 2.67 seconds, boosting their DPS from 5,773 or 24,094 against angels and zombies to 6,604 or 26,417 DPS against angels and zombies. They also gain a slight speed boost, going from 10 to 12 seeds, and they gain a slow immunity. This true form will cost you 3 purple and 3 yellow cat fruit. Welcome to Nyanko Dai Sensoon! After 9 years in development, hopefully it will have been worth the wait. Thanks, and have fun! Yes, that's right. After 9 years in development, we finally received Bean Cat's true form. This being the Valkyrie Cats. I already have a video that goes into more detail about these guys and how I feel about them, but to tell you what they received, they gain a 100% health boost, going from 6,868 health to 13,735 health. They also gain a 100% chance to wave, along with the resist ability against red enemies, and they also gain the Behemoth Slayer ability. With these factors in place, Valkyrie Cats effectively have 10 times the health against red enemies compared to Bra Cats, as they have 68,675 health against them. Throw on Behemoth Slayer, and now they have 114,458 HP against red Behemoth enemies. They also deal 4,462 damage against Behemoths. In order to get this true form, you need 3 red seeds, 3 red fruits, and 1 red Behemoth stone. Next, we have Shitakiri Sparrow's true form, who gains a 32% boost to their health, going from 57,800 health to 76,500 health. They also gain a 30% boost to their damage, going from 16,915 damage to 22,100 damage. This boosts their DPS from 4,027 to 5,261. However, this number in reality is a bit higher thanks to their mini wave chance going from 40% to 100%. Like with all the other anti Aku true forms, this guy will cost you an epic seed and 3 Aku cat fruit. The last true form of the update is Cat Researcher, the true form of Aku Researcher. They gain a 50% boost to their health, going from 6,800 health to 10,200 health. 
they also straight up no longer have any TBA, meaning their DPS goes from 758 to 1896, an effective 237% boost. This also means that their much higher attack rate allows them to get many more chances to break any shield. They also gain a crazy speed boost, going from 10 speed to a massive 33 speed. In order to get this true form, you need to beat the revenge stage for Aku Cyclone, which I'll cover later. Unlike the last update, only one unit gained talents, this being Immortal Yoshimoto. Yoshimoto gains Aku Targeting, Survive, and Freeze Resist along with the standard defense and attack talents. Yoshimoto's survival starts at 28% and goes up to 100%. For Freeze Resist, this reduces the time he has frozen from 7 to 70%. Two other units gained Ultra Talents. First, Kachiyama gained Curse Immunity, Strengthen, and Slow Ultra Talents. The strength boost starts off at 5% but goes up to 50% when it's fully leveled up and activates when Kachiyama goes below 50% health. The slow has a 40% activation chance and lasts between 1.37 seconds, going up by 0.37 seconds to go up to a slow time of 4.67 seconds. Next is Fox Queen Himayuri, who gains Mini Surge and costs down Ultra Talents. The Mini Surge can spawn between 150 to 850 range and starts out at a 5% activation rate, but at max level, it goes to a 50% activation rate. The cost down talents drop her price by 75 cents, up to 750 cents. This reduces her cost from 4,740 cents to 3,990 cents. Next to cover are the new enemies. First is Ava Unit 13, who is the only Evangelion collab enemy to not be an Ava Angel as they are a traitless enemy. They have 3 million health and deal 90,000 damage, which is split across 3 multi-hits, like the unit version is. They have a standing range of 210 but have an only strike that goes from 460 to negative 3140. They also have a 100% chance to slow units for 5 seconds and will spawn a mini surge that ranges between 400 to 700 range. There are also Wave, Knockback, Freeze, Slow, Weaken, and Surge Immune. Next, we have two new base enemies. One for the June Bride event and another for the Evangelion collab. The June Bride base is a church with Clown Cat standing behind it. The second one is an adult Shinji sitting on the bench. They are similar to the Doge Box or Doge Sun in the fact that it's a metal enemy, but unlike these two, he is the base itself instead of something that stands in front of it. Next we have an Angel variant of Auto Smack You, who boasts 15 speed, 3 knockbacks, a range of 150 with an Omni Strike that's between 200 to 300 range. They have 400,000 health and deal 4,497 damage with 5,865 DPS. They have a 50% chance to knock back units and have a new ability called Surge Mirror, but I will go into detail about that as its own section. While these are their 100% stats, they have only appeared at 250%. Last is Iberujan, a relic behemoth enemy that has 4.2 million health, deals 30,000 damage with 9,473 DPS, stands at a range of 400 and has an Omni Strike that goes from 550 range to negative 300 range. They also curse units for 4 seconds and are immune to Weaken, Waves, and Knockback. They have 4 knockbacks and move at a speed of 5. Just like the new Otter variant, they also have the Surge Mirror. The Monster Hunter references Devil Joe due to their aggression, nomadic nature, drooling mouth, green coloration, and the breath effect being a reference to Devil Joe's dragon breath attack, to name a few similarities. We have some new stages, but before we get into what these new stages are, we have new UL stars. Behemoth's Peak 3 star is now out with 1.5 times magnification, but so is Muda's Speech. However, that only has 1.4 times magnification. 4 star is also available for Ancient Forest Labyrinth, Castle of the Sentinels, and Space Time Distortion. For this new subchapter, the focus seems to be about Ururun, as she is featured in every single level. The first stage has Doges, Snatches, Those Guys, The New Angel Otter, Jackie Pangs, Hippos, Kangaroos, Arost, Relic Doges, and as mentioned earlier, Ururunwolf. However, something that is interesting is that this is the first time outside of a Gauntlet stage or any event stage where an enemy has a different attack and health buff. For Ururun, she has a 300% boost to her health, giving her 2.1 million health and a 500% buff to her damage, dealing 44,060 damage. The next stage features Shibillion Elites, Doge Darks, Star Pangs, Dark Otters, Gory Blacks, Two Ribos, and Three Mesmocosma Cyclones. Then we have a stage with Croco, Squirrel, Gabriel, Angelic Gory, the Angel Otter, Dolphina, and Winged Piggy. Lastly is a stage which features two boss enemies, these being Ururunwolf and Mastulala. The other enemies featured are Celebutal, Relic Doge, and Sorel. 
Like all the revenge stages, the first stage is the same as the initial stage but features a restriction. The restriction here is that you can only use rares and uber rares. The second stage has a large focus on managing death surges as there are plenty of sinner snatches, devil wives, and condemned pangs. Alongside these enemies, there are Krokos, JJ Jackrabbits, a Cappy, and two Midnight Ds with a 200% Aku Cyclone. Like with Bean Cat's True Form, I also have a video on my channel that covers both of these levels. Then we have some new June Bride levels, all of which features the Clown Cat base. The first stage features a Doge, Snatch, and Hippo. The second stage features those guys, Squirrel, BB Bunny, and One Horns. Then we have a bunch of Doge Darks in the face. Next is some Duchess, Dachshund, and Master Ray. Lastly is a stage featuring Gory Black, Doge Dark, Shadowboxer K, and Lenoir. Ava Unit 13 has two stages, the first one featuring a 20% Ava Unit 13 along with Squirrels, Krokos, and Babas. This stage drops a cap ticket. The next stage has a huge spike in difficulty as it features Ava Unit 13 at full strength along with Sir Seal, Heavenly Hippo, Shadowboxer K, and Akugori. This stage drops three Legend Cat's Eyes. The last stage of the Evangelion collab is simply called Ending. The only enemy here is the Shinji base, but there is a restriction. You can only use the basic cat. This stage drops a rare ticket. For the last set of new levels, we have Hunter's Map 4, which is only unlocked once you get an Enigma level of 10, which is after Luza. Purple Forest 4 features Relic Doge, One Horn, Ginger Snage, Celeboodle, Cumulus Gallus, Suide Pigacus, and Ursa Major. This stage could drop between 4 to 6 Purple Behemoth Stones. Green Desert 4 features Elephante de Papo, Zoge, Snage, Jackie Pang, Sorel, Wild Doge, Cadaver Bear, and Ariant. This level drops between 2 to 4 green stones. Red Forest 4 features Director Kurosawa, Relic Doge, Aku Doge, Rangmaster, Shadowboxer K, and Raging Gori. This level drops 4 to 6 red behemoth stones. Blue Desert 4 features Wild Doge, Haniwanwan, I Am Face, Suide, Rajakon, Mr. Angel, Gabriel, and Loris. This level drops 2 to 4 blue stones. Last is Yellow Volcano 4, which features those guys. Haniwanwan, Wild Doge, Raging Gori, Kasurian Dark Joe, DNL, and Red Energy. This stage can either drop one or two yellow behemoth stones. However, what is unique about these Hunters maps is that they all feature a continuation stage. It is important to know that the schematics of each level remains the same and the only thing that changes are the possible rewards. The enemies that feature in the continuation stage include Relic Doge, Doge Dark, Ginger Snage, Sui Day, Muth, Wild Doge, Sorel, Hna and Iburujan serving as the boss of the level. If you get to this level by the red or purple stone stage, you have a 40% chance for 5 of the purple or red behemoth stones, a 40% chance for 3 purple or red behemoth gems, and a 20% chance for 4 of these behemoth gems. If you get to this level by the green or blue stone stage, you have a 40% chance for 3 of the green or blue stones, a 40% chance for 1 green or blue behemoth gem, and a 20% chance for 2 of the behemoth gems. Lastly is the yellow stage, where if you beat it, you have a 50% chance to either get a yellow behemoth stone or a yellow behemoth gem. Now for the last section of the video, the miscellaneous changes and additions. The main thing here is the surge mirror. Surge Mirror, or sometimes called Counter Surge or Surge Reflect as it doesn't have an official name yet, is a new ability added in version 12.4. The way the ability works is that if an enemy is hit by a Surge, it will take the Surge level and spawn area and attack back with these enemies with their own abilities. It takes 1.7 seconds to activate. For example, if Ibudujan is hit by Doron Surge, it will spit back a level 3 Surge that can spawn between 400 to 1000 range, but the Surge will now deal a maximum of 90,000 damage and will curse your units. Other things added are a new cat combo called Yokai Busters, featuring Shidakiri's true form. This combo gives a research small. Lastly is the new user rank rewards, in which user rank 20,100 gives 1 Platinum Shard, 20,200 gives 3 Brick Z, and 20,300 grants 3 Feather Z. This update was quite an update, from the fact that we got new Evangelion stuff, to the fact that after 9 years in development, we got Bean Catch True Form, and even the fact that the latest ZL subchapter has a heavy focus on Ururan Wolf and her lore connection with Yulala in the final stage of the subchapter. I want to know what you guys think about this update in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, then why not give it a like, and if you haven't already, why not subscribe to the channel as it'll help me out in the long run. Also, shout out to the following channel members. The Prodigy Rex, Carlos Solitaros, Pro Noob Tricks, Juan Pablo 2, I'm Too Few, 
Justa, Mainbreaker, Stanislas Martin, PlayStation 999, Bruno, Ulra 516, Shovel, Northern Pike, Wolfpack 1030, Not Skelly, and Vertigui. If you want to receive a shout out at the end of these videos, then consider becoming a channel member as this will also give you an exclusive role in my Discord server, for which you can find a link to in the description of this video. Anyways, I hope you have a wonderful day.